Welcome back to part 3 of the video series ClearPass integration with Azure AD and Intune. In the last few videos we focused primarily on the wireless configuration and integration with Azure AD and Intune. It's now time to show you the configuration that is needed for wired 802.1x on a Windows 10 device. But we will also cover the Intune part to automate and streamline your network security policies. And before we're going to do that, I just want to explain you this uh, through this article uh, what we're going to configure and why. First, we'll manually configure the wired authentication since uh, Intune does not have a way to configure the wired authentication to a graphical user interface. So this means that you need to configure it on the machine first and then through uh, the NetShell commands you can export it um, and then re-import it into Intune to push it down to the Windows 10 machines. Just to add a little bit more about that, when you deploy this configuration, this does not necessarily mean that it becomes active because the wired auto config surface must be enabled. And this surface enables the supplicant on your network adapter, which is basically the authentication tab that you see. This also cannot be enabled through graphical user interfaces. This is something that we can do through a PowerShell script but in order to deploy and enable a PowerShell script, it must be Azure AD joined. Just be aware of that. Um, so what I did, I factory defaulted the machine again. So the snapshot over here, um, it's a clean machine and we'll rejoin it to the Azure AD instead of joining it only as a mobile device managed device. So heading over to the account, access worker school and then connect you see the option over here to join it into the Azure AD like this and fill in my credentials so the procedure is roughly the same though at some point you'll um, log, log out of the machine to uh, log in with my AD credentials so there are a few differences there but uh, the configuration that we've done so far in the Intune side, like uh, the the push of a certificate uh, user and a computer certificate and a root CA and the wireless profiles, that will be applicable for this um, machine as well. Join the AD. And now the configuration profiles will be pushed down. I'm just going to fast forward this video since um, there's not much to see around this. The computer is now ready and is uh, provisioned. I've logged in with my AD credentials and let's take a look at the certificates again to make sure that we have all the right information uh, that is needed to start with the wired configuration. So we have a certificate over here and probably as well a certificate for the computer as well from Skepman. So with that we can start with the configuration of the wired adapter. I'll open up a window for the network panel and over here we have our Ethernet adapter and in order to configure the uh, authentication over here we'll have to enable the wired auto config service that I mentioned earlier on so opening up service.msc and scrolling down to the bottom or typing in wired auto config you see the service over here and it needs to be changed from manual to automatic and from stopped to running. So we're going to start it now and change it to start automatically. Click on OK. And by now going to the adapter over here, there is an extra tab, authentication. And we're going to roughly repeat the same steps that we have did in the previous videos for the wireless configuration. So select the smart card. The certificate, uh, it's going to be a user authentication and the settings. Again, we only want to use the certificate that has been issued by Skepman. Connecting to the clearpass.st branch radio server. The certificate uh, that has been issued to this computer was from the root CA from Let's Encrypt over here. Click on OK. And by now, if I plug in the cable, the authentication will happen. But first of all, we need to do some configuration on ClearPass first. So heading over to ClearPass 
and then configuration. I am going to copy the surface that I already have over here for the wireless one since it will only need a little adjustments and we can just reuse the big portion of the uh, part of that we already configured. So I'm going to call this wired and we won't filter on the ESSID and we'll change this from wireless to wired but that's the only change that we need to do here. So from the authentication perspective, we're going to use EPTLS for the computer, um, check it against the Azure AD and trim the username to get a right match. For the authorization source, we'll be querying the extension from Intune, but also the LDAP directory. This information is then used for the, uh, to check whether the certificate has been issued by Scapman and if, it, if the computer is uh, present in the Azure registry. If these conditions match, we'll get the employee role and everything is fine. So I'm going to save this and head over to the computer to plug in the cable. So authentication is happening now. And over here, we see that I think the uh, authentication has been successful. Going to access tracker. Sure enough, over here, we have our uh, authentication coming in. And it has been successful. We have the information from the Intune uh, extension, but also the LDAP directory. The next step is to export this particular configuration and then import it into Intune. I'll head over to this Microsoft help article. And this article explains where to list your network adapters, but also to retrieve the configuration from that particular adapter. So I'll just copy this command, open up a PowerShell screen as an administrator. And since we're going to export the file, I'll navigate to, our, uh, to my desktop environment, fill in the command over here, and we perform the configuration on the Ethernet adapter. So I'll be sure to select that one. I'll just copy this then, this part of the configuration. And then called Ethernet. And sure enough, over here, we have our XML configuration. I'm going to copy this particular file onto my desktop and go to the Intune portal to import that for the configuration profile. So to the device configuration and then profiles, I'll create a new profile. And the platform will be Windows 10 and the profile type is a custom one and the information so a name can be just something that of your choice the URI can be found as well in this help article from Microsoft so scrolling a bit down over here I'm just going to select this one also with the dot and then select XML file and dr drag and drop this one Click on OK. And give it the right scope tag by default and assign it to the right group. So I'm going to create it now and assign it to all users and devices. So there's one more thing uh, that needs to be done. So the configuration of the 8201X supplicant is one thing, but the other uh, configuration that we'll need to do is make sure that the services, the wired auto config service starts automatically. This is a setting that you can perform by uh, enabling a PowerShell command. And before I'm gonna enable the PowerShell command, I'll uh, disable the authentication service. to stop and instead of automatic to manual, so basically the default settings, which in this case, we shouldn't see the uh, authentication tab anymore. 
and now I'll with the PowerShell commands I'll enable it again and we'll put these commands in a script to be pushed down from Intune. So the commands are set surface and the name will be dot tree SVC and the startup type will be defined as automatic and refreshing this screen here you see that it changed from manual to automatic and now change the state by defining the status to running should start the surface as well so here you have it um, with the configuration uh, XML file and these PowerShell commands, we should be good to go to enforce these configuration policies from Intune. These are the commands that we've just typed in. So I'm gonna import this into the Intune PowerShell configuration by going to device configuration and then PowerShell scripts. I can add a new script over here. I'll call this the wired auto config. And I'll just drag and drop this again click on next and assign it to all users and all devices and then just add it in order to make sure that the configuration that we've done uh, are actually valid and um, are deployed successfully I'm going to restore the machine to its original state for, uh, with a snapshot and I'm going to rejoin it into the Azure AD to see if all these settings that we've just made will now be pushed automatically onto the machine when it joins the Azure AD. I will refer to snapshot and delete the machine from Intune. As you can see, there are no certificates as of now. I'll just rejoin the Azure AD by going to the settings again and then join to the Azure AD. I'll just fast forward all these things uh, since you've already seen this so far. Um, So our Windows 10 machine is now provisioned to the Azure Active Directory. I'll log in with my AD, AD credentials. And let's have a look at the certificates that are um, installed on the machine and also check the configuration that we have pushed from Intune. So taking a look at the certificates. For the user and the computer store. Sure enough, we have our certificate over here. So that's a good sign here as well. Um, let's take a look if our service is running. So the wired auto config service. We'll filter on the wired auto config and sure enough, it is running automatically. So the PowerShell script has done its job. And the final check will be to see if the device is authenticated on the network. So opening the screen, sure enough, we are connected to the network with our security policies that we have defined through Intune. So let's take a look on ClearPass if everything looks good there as well. And sure enough, we have all the information that we manually set earlier, but now automatic provisioned from Intune. And that's a wrap. In the next video, I'll cover the ClearPass onboard functionality, which allows users to onboard a device onto the network by installing a network profile on the device with a certificate. For this, we won't be using Intune, but we do use ClearPass in conjunction with the Azure ID. Thank you for watching this video and like and subscribe if you found this informative and be sure to leave any feedback or questions in the comment section below.